In this station, we will demonstrate how to perform a needle cricothyroidotomy and emergency tracheostomy. This represents the thyroid cartilage, and this other line represents the cricoid cartilage. In between these two marks is the cricothyroid membrane. In an emergency situation where a surgical airway is required, use a 14 gauge cannula with a syringe on the other end. Insert the cannula at roughly 45 degrees to the skin to pierce the cricothyroid membrane and enter the trachea. Free aspiration of air confirms entry into the trachea. The cannula can then be slid into place. A definitive airway requires a cuffed tube to be placed in the trachea. For an emergency tracheostomy, incise the cricothyroid membrane using a scalpel blade. Using the handle of the scalpel in a rotatory motion, widen this incision. The tracheostomy tube should then be inserted as shown. Inflate the cuff, having checked there are no leaks beforehand. Remove the stylet. The tracheostomy tube can then be secured in place. For this station we use an ovine larynx covered with skin. Here we have removed the skin so you can appreciate the anatomy. The cricothyroid membrane has been incised.